very important to know why some people are so badly affected and other people just brush off these viruses. And clearly, a really important factor here is age. We know that that's one of the major determinants of severity, but we still don't really know what it is about the aging immune system that makes people so much more vulnerable. But we do know also that if you've got a background of high blood pressure or heart disease, um, that that makes you more vulnerable. That's interestingly different from influenza. That's not what we saw in 2009, uh, where the risk factors were, were quite different from that. OK, so if you've got high blood pressure, or if you've got a problem with your ticker, then you potentially are at a greater risk as well. A greater risk, yes. I, mean, we, I think we do know that each of us is a sort of rich matrix of different immune genes. You know, a lot of our genes are directed towards controlling the immune response. And, you know, you and I don't share the same genetic makeup. We've got, you know, maybe I've got 40 genes that give me a slight advantage and 40 which give me a slight disadvantage. And, you similarly, but different genes. So that might um, that might affect why we're we're um, so variable in our responses. Uh